Daniel, how much importance would you put on tomorrow night's game against United? Yeah, look, it's a massive game. Um, we want to run in the cup. We want to get as far as you possibly can. And, you know, don't the United are standing in our way now. Obviously, thought we played well at Tannadice. Um, probably should have won the game, but gave them the opportunities and they took it. So, you know, thankfully we're still in the cup. And, you know, all out to win tomorrow. Hibs favourites to go through. Does that come with added pressure and expectation as well from the fans? Uh, maybe. Look, I suppose we're at home with the, with the Premier Premier League team. So, we're going to have, probably have that favourite side, but that's taken a lot away from, from Dundee United. They're a very, very good side. They're flying at the minute. And obviously, we've seen how good they were last week, so we'll know what we have to do and how we have to do it. Do you approach this game very similar to you would another Premiership game, actually, in the way that United, was in, that they're going to be a Premiership side next season, aren't they? Yeah, well, no, as in, you approach every game the, the exact same. doesn't matter who you're playing, you know, uh, you want the, the three points on a on a league game but you want to get through the cup and that's winning albeit you have the opportunity of extra time penalties but we'll want to want to win the game and get through so it'd be that'd be our approach. Play as well as you can win the game if you can. Yeah, and added incentive you're playing obviously a, a team, a, a lower league team, um and well it's away from home and it'll yeah, it'll be uh, they'll be certainly be up for the game. It looks like whoever wins this tie has got an excellent chance to reach the last eight. Yeah, look, no need to worry about that now. Uh, we have to, we have to try to beat Dundee United. If we do that, we can worry about the rest of the games after that. But there's no point talking this, that further on. You know, if you keep looking too far ahead, you'll end up out of the cup. Think of what might have been. So we'll worry about Dundee United tomorrow and um, hopefully get through. What did you learn um, about United from that first game? What did the squad as a whole learn that you need to do better? Um, I think for large parts, boys played really well. Um, probably a small bit more clinical when we had the opportunity, when we were on top, to kind of put them away because obviously they've got players. You know, Shanklin got one chance, took his goal. Um, you know, a great goal from the by a Perry came off the bench. So you know they've they've got quality as well. So it'll be down to us really if we do take that lead and we're in a bit of control of the game to try to put them to bed. Do you feel there's a lot more confidence in the side that you? Yeah, I think so. I think we've always thought that, you know, that there's a there's a good group here, good players. Um, you know, it's obviously, look, it's going to be a tough game, and but we have to back ourselves as well. We think we're good enough to go through, and look, if we play like we can, hopefully we can go through. How tough has this schedule been for everyone after the winter break with all the injuries you've got as well? Yeah, look, it's, it's, it's not ideal, really. It's a, it's a lot of games. We think we've got... We have two more midweek games after these as well, so it's a tough schedule. But we've we've a big squad and you know a very competitive squad. But uh, you know, there's just see the strength of the the bench and things like that from from the last couple of games. Um, you know that there, if you don't play well, there's someone who can take your place and do better. And if you know someone's injured or tired, there's there's bodies there. And you know, uh, thankfully. We have that good squad and we'll be able to use it because we'll, we'll definitely need it. The manager's looking to add a, a couple more this week. How important is it not only to strengthen it but to, to keep hold of the guys, the key players you've got? Yeah, definitely. Look, we've some lads absolutely flying at the minute, and I think the club are trying their best to hold on to them. And you know that'd be it'd be great if they could. Um, obviously, uh, everyone has aspirations and things like that, and there's 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 some massive clubs sniffing about, but. Look, we'll, we'll see what happens. I, I, I'm not really privy to that. What kind of impact has Stefan had coming back in his enthusiasm? Yes, yeah, look, he's been brilliant. He hasn't played much football, and you know he's come in and he, he looks fit as Anton. He looks he looks sharp. Um, the two games he's played, he's been excellent. You know, you've seen the the same Stefan Omiyanga that was here last year. You know, you wouldn't think he had uh, he'd been gone at all, but um, you know he, he's been he's been brilliant, and you know I think. Uh, Watching, as you say, his enthusiasm kind of helps everyone.